Well, now at 1030, pet owners beware. A highly contagious respiratory illness is making its way across the country. Current Animal Services now telling pet owners to take several precautions to avoid having their furry friends fall ill. Eyewitness News reporter Leslie Molina tells us what these precautions are. A walk in the park might look very different for you and your pets. Experts are advising you take several precautions to not only guarantee the safety, but the health of your pets. A walk in the park not so simple anymore. Current County Animal Services is now asking the public to take steps to protect their pets. A highly contagious canine respiratory illness is making its way across the nation that in some cases could be deadly. I have. I heard about it when I was driving down from Oregon and I was stopping at rest areas and I, I kind of thought about it, but I wasn't too concerned about it. Experts say dog parks are a perfect breeding ground for the illness. This disease spreads easily, only needing direct contact with an infected animal. And if you're taking your pet out to a park, experts say you must take special precautions. Avoid having your pet share any toys, blankets, food, and water bowls with other animals. We want to make sure the community knows to be safe with your pets. You know, try to refrain um, from too much uh, places like dog parks, um, anywhere where, uh, you know, unfamiliar strange dogs are interacting with other unfamiliar strange dogs. You know, those are areas where this type of illness is going to be spread from dog to dog. The Kern County Animal Shelter is now taking extreme precautions, putting 250 of their animals under quarantine, with staff keeping a close eye out for any symptoms. This happened after two of its dogs passed away, the cause not yet confirmed. For now, the shelter is also not taking any stray dogs in unless they are sick or pose a threat to public safety. So right now, every animal in our facility is being treated and monitored. Our medical staff was here yesterday, Sunday, and every single dog in our facility was started on antibiotics, whether they were showing symptoms or not. So Symptoms pet owners should look out for include a persistent cough, eye or nasal discharge, fever, lethargy, and loss of appetite. If your pet happens to be experiencing any of these symptoms, it is advised you take them to the nearest veterinary. Reporting in Bakersfield, Lessa Molina, Eyewitness News.